internet? I have a cat. This video is <laughs> gonna be about fast food customers. Now, I have had so many ideas and tried to do so much of preparation, and I finally told myself, you know what, starting's the hardest part, I'm just gonna do it. Because there is nothing in this world that's going to prepare me for the amount of nervousness I have standing right here right now. I'm terrified. So, I want to talk about the types of customers because I've worked in fast food for about three years, okay? And I've realized, well, you can't throw everyone into a box or a bubble. There's a few categories you can throw them under, generally. Number one being a soccer mom. This person is obscene, and I can't blame them at all because I'd be no better. This is the person that comes in demanding that you have everything they need before they've even asked you. Like, why can't you read minds? What's wrong with you? Can't you see that I have three little kids running around in between my feet while I have another one just standing here nagging me for pizza? So why don't you have it already? This person is driven mad. I mean, the soccer mom, car full of kids going crazy. That is number one. This person, if you are late getting their food, will kill you. And I will not blame them. At all. But, well, they chose to have kids, so... That's another discussion for another time. The next one is the expert. This is the person who, no matter what you say, they think they know better. What? You've worked there three years? That doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. They know what you have, when you're open, when you're closed. I've actually, I've been working the drive-thru. I've had someone come through the drive-thru and I open the drive-thru to politely say, excuse me, we're closed. And it's like, no, you're not. I'm like, we're not? Well, no one told me. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I just mopped, just fucked and mopped the whole store. Like, I, I do, okay, I mean, you want to come in and start working? Clearly, you know this place better than I do, okay? <laughs> I've had people ask me for toppings, ask me for pizza, and when I say I'm sorry we don't have that, they say yes you do, and I'm like, when did you work here? Really? I did not know that. <laughs> I mean, this person has it figured out, so why they need you is beyond me, because clearly they can go back there and make their own dang pizza. This is probably also the person who's going to stand at the front and just go, and watch you like that the entire time you make their food because they're expecting you. Actually, I think even a little bit hoping that you will make a mistake so they can be like, mm -mm, that's not how that goes. That is wrong. And then they can unleash on you. Anyways, the next one, number three, is the creep. This is the person who, no matter what you say, no matter what they say, just makes you uncomfortable. This is the kind of person you're gonna be talking to and then you, then you just have that lingering eye contact where you're like, okay, can I have your money now? And they're just like, yeah. And so you're just like, I just, I, hmm. but you can't do that. So then you just gotta like, I don't know, make up like, <laughs> I'd love to just take your money now so you can walk away and kind of got to laugh through it, but this is the person that just to your soul makes you feel a little gross and just, just uncomfortable. <laughs> and then is the mentally impaired. This is the person that usually younger to middle age-ish area that are either under some sort of illegal substance or alcohol. And they're not really sure what they want and they're probably not sure where they are exactly. They're just happy you have food, especially if it's the illegal substance. But this is the person who's gonna come up and just be like, hi, I want pizza, right? You sell that here, right? Where are we? Where did you take me? And then they have that one sober friend that's just like, I'm so sorry, I just, And then you're like, it is totally fine because I am so busy laughing hysterically at your friend that this has just made my night. Sure, I had some soccer mom scream at me already, some expert try to tell me how to do my job even though they don't work here, and some creep just make me feel defiled to my soul. But this right here, 
10 minutes before closing, I don't care if you order everything on the menu, I am thoroughly amused because your friend has stumbled all over our lobby and I'm pretty sure they just face planted in their own vomit outside our window. So this has made my night. Or that teenager that comes through the drive-thru and they're just so happy to be there like, can I help you? Yeah. <laughs> That, that person. It's it's really a beautiful thing to run into at the end of the night. It just kind of, you're so busy laughing at them that you don't even care that you still have to take the trash out, throw it into a dumpster twice your height. Ah, <sighs> short people problems. But then the last one on the list is the lonely. This person I genuinely kind of feel bad for because this is usually the person who's like middle age to older. And I think they call or come in because they want a friend. They want someone to talk to. And I feel so bad because like, I'm at work and I have to like work. But these are the people who will call and like, you're just trying to get their pizza order and you know what their kids are doing, how their kids are doing in school, what auntie and uncle just did. You know the whole, whole spiel. I have once, I've been standing at the counter taking someone's order and I just knew their whole life story. Like this person's whatever family member was in the hospital for stuff and things and they just went on like, oh, and this person had to go get this removed and I'm like, that's a little gross, you are in a food establishment, but I'm sorry. But, oh yeah, like, oh, and then Bobby, he just, he keeps bringing home B's, but I know he can get A's if he really tries. You know, these are the people who just want someone to talk to. And I've run into this a lot more with like old, old people, but I'm not gonna specify that it's just them because this happens a lot with middle-aged people too. So, you know, whoever feels like talking. But I tell you, one day pizza people are gonna be the new like bartenders. Tell me about your problems. I didn't think about how to end this video. So if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button or somewhere down here there's also a thumbs up, but don't, not the thumbs down, just ignore that, that doesn't exist. <laughs> but if you can please hit the subscribe and the thumbs up and make me all happy because this is my first video and please leave me lots of feedback because I am learning and I'm new and I want to know what you guys have to say, but please don't be too mean because I'm new.